Hi, my name is Caitlin Bradley and I'm a former Thoroughbred Makeover competitor and I also run a social media page called The Western Thoroughbred. This is my seven-year-old Thoroughbred gelding, The Love Monkey. Monkey competed at the Makeover in 2018 and finished in the top 10 in barrel racing. I've owned him since this past spring and he's actually had about a year off essentially. So I've been taking this extra time to slowly get him back into shape. Today we're going to demonstrate the exercise that we've been riding most frequently lately. It's a drill that we learned when we were at a clinic with world-renowned barrel horse trainer Dina Kirkpatrick last spring. This exercise, I call it a pinwheel drill, but I've also heard it called a flower or a wagon wheel. Dina adapted this exercise from an exercise she learned from her mentor Ian Francis. So although I'm going to ride it in a barrel horse sense, this exercise can really be applied to all disciplines to teach horses to balance themselves independently in the straightaways and in the turns. I think this will be really useful for those of you who are also conditioning your horses or working with a young horse. So hopefully this is something you find useful to your program and we'll do our best to demonstrate it to the best of our ability. All right, so this pinwheel exercise really doesn't have a set beginning or an end. But to start, I'm gonna trot a large circle around the outside of my arena. This circle will sort of serve as a perimeter for the exercise. Now this drill requires quite a bit of space. So if you don't have a large enough arena, a open field will work just fine. But in any case, trotting this circle will establish a boundary that you wanna keep the exercise within. This drill can be ridden at either the trot or the lope, but like I said, monkey is a bit out of shape, so we're gonna trot the entire thing. We start this drill by moving up the center, and when I reach my perimeter, I'm gonna sit deep in my saddle, drop to one hand just like I would around a barrel, and ask him to turn a tighter circle. Now these circles should be as perfect as possible, and by perfect, I mean that the circle should be perfectly round and his feet should be following his nose and his hindquarters should be stepping up underneath him. Monkey has a tendency to be rather heavy on his front end, so I'm going to ask him to do an additional circle here and just really focus on getting his hindquarters driving up underneath him instead of getting strung out. When I feel like we are ready to leave a circle, I put both hands back on the reins, look between his ears, and focus on riding as straight as possible. When I want to start a turn, again, I sit deep in my saddle, and I actually look down at the ground in front of us where I want his feet to land. Like I said, this exercise really doesn't have a clear beginning or an end. Its repetitive, predictable nature allows nervous horses to find some comfort. It also requires any horse to find balance and rhythm on their own. When they realize that this exercise is ongoing, they will start to use their bodies properly on their own. It's exhausting for them to complete these turns and transitions if they are out of balance, and if you take the role of a passenger, they will figure that out for themselves. Now there are several ways to change direction in this exercise, but the easiest is simply to cross the center and then pick up a circle in the opposite direction, which I just did here. You could also stop in the center and then reverse directions, but I like this transition because it continues the forward motion. Now, ideally, Monkey would keep his weight shifted to his hindquarters just as he would in a barrel turn, but you can see that there are certain points in these circles where his weight drops to his front end. As his fitness level increases and we are able to complete this exercise at the canter, I will expect that to improve. When you complete one full circuit of the pinwheel exercise, it should look like this. I thought that it would be useful to show how the pinwheel exercise translates to the barrel pattern. Monkey has not seen barrels since last fall, but this calm, continuous pattern is a great way to reintroduce them. This three barrel drill is another exercise that we learned at the Dina Kirkpatrick Clinic, and it's essentially the pinwheel around barrels. You set up a normal barrel pattern, but you take all three barrels in the same direction, keeping to the inside of the triangle, and you keep your circles around each barrel very wide and fluent. 
This exercise has the same benefits as the pinwheel and you ride it the exact same way. Think of yourself as a passenger and allow your horse to carry you and find his own balance and rhythm. Variations of the pinwheel drill and this three barrel exercise can be found in Heather Smith's Barrel Racing Tips book series. I highly recommend those books as they really help me in preparing for the makeover. And they are sure to help you develop a calm and confident barrel horse as well. Thanks for watching and good luck from Monkey and I in all of your makeover preparations.